This video will discuss angle bend terms in molecular mechanics energy functions. So moving on to our next term in the amber molecular mechanics energy function, we have the energy of bond angles. So just as with bonds, if we have some uh, XYZ or PDB file, which defines the coordinates of the atoms in our system, there's also going to be need to be some way to specify to our program what our bond angles are in the system. So it might determine these automatically, as is frequently done for PDB files, or you might need to specify to the system what the bond angles are. So in this case, I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bond angles from those, and then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, however many that adds up to, lost count, sorry about that. So anyway, we have all these angles. So we do the energy of all the angles is the sum from all the angles of each of their individual angle energies. So this is going to look very similar to the result that we had from bonds because we get a an angle spring constant parameter times the bond angle theta minus the equilibrium bond angle, frequently a value in radians, quantity squared, and then summed over all the angles. So we have, once again, two parameters. We have a spring constant, typically determined, uh, could be determined by the, uh, the first, the second derivative of the exact potential energy surface near the minimum, kind of a spring constant parameter. Uh, typical value there is, uh, typical uh, unit there is kcal per mole radian squared. So note that the values in my program that I'm going to be demonstrating are in uh, kcal per mole radian squared rather than degrees squared. And that equilibrium bond angle might be indicated in either uh, radians or degrees depending on whether you're uh, doing the interconversion factor there. But uh, typically, it's most it's safest to work exclusively in radians. Uh, but I'm going to do some interchanging between radians and degrees. Okay, so that means our variable is the bond angle, which is also determined in radians, and the bond angle can be somewhere between zero and pi, or zero and 180 degrees. Um, so this means that the energy, if we are at the equilibrium bond angle, is going to be equal to zero. And the uh, derivative of the energy at the equilibrium bond angle is going to be zero as well. It's only that second derivative that's the first non-zero term there. So once again, we have the same kind of caveats. Uh, the exact potential energy you would get from some advanced quantum mechanical method is going to deviate this. Uh, deviate more the further you get away from this uh, minimum of the structure here. But as long as we're vibrating over a reasonably small range, we're going to have a pretty reasonable representation of uh, the vibrations of bond angles there. A typical value you might observe in parameter tables might be 100 to 150 kcal per mole radian squared. And uh, those are going to be between the various atom types that we see t typically in our uh, amber uh, parameters. All right, so an example of this in my uh, computational chemistry GitHub repository, where I've replicated this in uh, this Jupyter notebook, top level directories there. I have, once again, this uh, parameter file, a uh, custom file type I've defined now for water, where we have our three atoms, uh, each of those atom types, X, Y, Z coordinates, and then some non-bonded parameters. I have the parameters for the bonds between atom 1 and atom 2, between atom 1 and atom 3, and now the parameters between angle 2, 1, 3, where we have a angle spring constant of 100 kcal per mole radian squared and an equilibrium bond angle of 104.52 degrees. So note there, again, that I'm mixing degrees and radians, which in general can be dangerous unless you are testing things very, very thoroughly. Okay, so I'm going to an uh, Jupyter Notebook, which is one level below this uh, top-level directory in this Notebooks directory. 
So running this mm molecular mechanics uh, function without any inputs gives me the input. So I need to feed it a, an xyzq or prm file. I'll go up one directory, tab into geometry, tab parameter directory, tab h2o, and then shift enter to run that. So now the energy terms I get, I get some energy from my bonds and I have some energy from the angles. So let's see down here. So it's going to repeat that information that it read in from my parameter file up there. Then it's going to say about the bonds, uh, KB equilibrium uh, energy there, pretty low amount. And then for my bond angles, I had my, uh, my KA, my equilibrium bond angle, my actual bond angle is sort of a tetrahedral angle there. So that gives me an overall energy of 0 0.7467 kilocalories per mole for this particular bond, which is, or sorry, for this particular angle, which is my only angle in the molecule giving me my angle energy.